What is up everyone, Dawn checking in. Welcome to MIT, where we bring nursing to you. Today we're gonna to talk about medication administration via G-tube or NG tube. We're gonna know what equipment to use, what steps to follow, and what not to do when doing this procedure. So if you're ready, I'm ready, so let's go. The very first thing that we have to do is Compare MAR to the doctor's order. Next is we're going to gather our equipment. We're going to start with our hand sanitizer to clean our hands. Or simply just wash your hands before coming in contact with your patient. Gloves. We need gloves because gastric contents are considered to be body fluids. Syringe. This equipment can be used to check for tube placement, to mix medications, or to flush the tube. Sterile or tap water to delete our medications and to flush our tubes to maintain patency. Our pill crusher. This is to crush our medications. Litmus paper, this is to check for the tube placement. The paper should turn red or pink to indicate acidity of contents. And of course, our medications. Knock knock. Hello sir. Hello. My name is Ben. I'll be your nurse for tonight, okay? Could you tell me your name please? My name is Don Catalan. Okay, and can you tell me date of birth? 7-26-1988 Alright, very good. So tonight, I will be giving you your medications. But okay. before that, I have to check the placement of your NG tube. Sure. Alright? Whoops! Hold oh, on, Ben! Is Asto taking evidence-based practice? I don't think so. So how do you check for placement, then? Well, there's actually three ways to check for placements. The first and most accurate one is getting an X-ray. The second one is measuring the tube. And the third one, the one that we usually do at the hospital, is checking for gastric contents. Oh yeah, I remember aspirating 5 to 10 mLs of gastric contents. What was it supposed to look like again? Well, normally it's green, tan, or off-white, but if it's abnormal and it's in the lungs, it's going to be off-white with mucus tinge. Right, and afterwards we check for pH. Normal gastric pH is less than 5.5, intestinal pH is greater than 7, and if it's in the airways, it's going to be 6 or greater. Right. But if any of these are not within the normal limits, you are not going to give your patient any medications. You're going to stop and call the doctor to get an order for an x-ray. Alright, so... I'm going to aspirate some gastric contents from your NG2. See what we can get. Alright, so it looks like we have some output here. But let me go just double check on the litmus paper. Just a little bit there. It turned pink, so it means we're good. It's acidic. And all right, I'll come back to give your medication, sir. Okay. All right, let me just scan your ID band real quick. Wait, is it making another error? Yeah, when crushing and mixing medications do not mix different medications in one cup. Medications may interact and form in a tube, making the tube unusable. Also on a side note, remember not to crush any enteric coated medications. These medications may be labeled EC, XR, SR, or ER depending on the manufacturer. Crushing these medications will increase the amount of meds absorbed in a smaller amount of time, causing severe drug toxicity. Alright, hello sir. So I'm gonna give you your medication now, okay? Okay. Did you see three errors? Yeah, I actually did. First, before administering medications, make sure that you increase your patient's head of bed up these 30 to 45 degrees to prevent aspiration. Second, the proper way to handle any equipment is to don gloves. We don't want to introduce other bacteria to the GI tract. Third, the tube is first flushed with 30 mLs of water before meds are given. 
Then the in-between medications you flush the tube with 5 to 10 ml of water. After all medications are given, you're going to flush the tube once more with 30 to 60 ml of water. And when flushing, allow the drain with gravity instead of pushing to prevent air from entering the GI tract. Remember, instruct the patient to remain upright for at least one hour after all medications are given. Alright sir, I'm going to be giving you your medications now, alright? That is it for today guys and we hope you enjoyed the video and learned from it and just remember we're going to be posting more videos in the future ranging from basic nursing procedure to complex pathophysiology which will hopefully help you in your nursing career. So hit the like and subscribe button. By doing this, these videos will come right to you. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, just leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Mint, signing out.